All right, we have our team. Oh, let's see what's going on. He has some explaining to do. No, I'm like, <laughs> uh -uh, I'm, I'm logging off. <laughs> what is happening? This is his project. What do you mean? I was just helping out in his absence. No. <laughs> Look, that was an example. In, oh, you're here. Yeah, but... But no, no, no. These weightings came from legal. No, I didn't. So, he, but here's the thing. The weightings are like, we're just an example that they provided us. So that's why all these numbers can change if you change the weightings. So keep that in mind. Like the way people are ranked and how their scores are, are based on the current weightings. That doesn't necessarily mean these are the right weightings. So if you adjust what's weighted more, that can change where people fall. That w We just went with their example. Mm-hmm. Right. All right. Here, I can share. That's what you were saying, like these waiting. Yeah, yeah, it, whatever. I think we're, well, this this year is probably more. I thought it was close, like, yeah, we're a little over 10K right now, unless something's happened. How are we gonna, how do we know who's top, bottom, middle performer? Um, I think you just need to pull, like, so this is what I did yesterday, and I still have the file. So yesterday when I pulled um, for the month, I just pulled everybody and filtered down to the people I needed. Like, so I still have everyone for J January through April. So like this file here is, I compiled it. It's January through April of 2024 and it's everyone. So that's where there's like almost 65,000 rows of data. So I just took this and filtered it down like to the people that we were actually looking at for my portion. So I, we just need to pull the rest of the year and pull everyone. And then we can do the same thing. Like if there's a select, you know, names that you want us to look at, we can filter it down from there, but just pull everybody because it doesn't like, I'm not gonna say like, oh, let's go to this dash board and select 400 names no that doesn't make any sense you know yeah okay I mean we can duplicate this okay so we can um you know whenever the names whenever we get the you know because like this is based on this right so this chart populates based on this so I need to get like we need to get all of the I put it on this tab hold on no which tab was it where's the tab no it's sheet seven what you know where is the sheet what is sheet six? Was it hidden? Okay. So sheet six. Okay. This is where it's based off. So we would just have to, um, once I get the names, l load their data in here, and then we can, you know, populate it here. So it's just a matter of like, hey, pulling the data from May through December for everyone and not just those select people. And then providing me with the names of the people that you want us to look at. Okay, yeah. And because it's gonna be a lot of data, just keep them on separate sheets because that's what I had to do before I compiled it into one. So it's fine if they're separated and not moved to one. Um, but just keep, just remember like when you're on the rep scorecard tab, whenever this refreshes, you, make sure that you're selecting the last day of the month in order to get the full month. Yeah, no, we didn't do that. Yeah, it brings up, so this is what it looks like. Now just do one sheet, like it's because it's gonna be a lot of data now that it's everyone so just do one sheet per month that's fine because you're gonna have a lot of data yeah it doesn't have to be one file yeah just to keep it its own file yeah yeah you can put it in slack you or if yeah you can put it in slack or if it's too large and you have to put it in the share drive um like i, I have like a miscellaneous reports file or, or folder in the share drive i can send you the link to it like if it won't let you drop it in slack because of the size i'll send that link to you to that folder in the share drive yeah so yeah, that's all we need. Like I already have the calculations done. So I think we're good there. Like it's just new data. <laughs> hmm? oh, I'm trying to find this uh, folder, sorry. Okay, I feel like I've been so it, well, no, no, I don't feel like I have been so busy today and I have not been talking to the camera. So hi, hello, 
happy Friday. It's 2.30. I'm leaving work in an hour. I, I have to log off. Like I'm just over it right now. So it's like you give people one set of data. Oh, we need to see more data. You know what? I'm over it, you guys. I really am. Um, but I just worked on cleaning. I had to clean some data, format it, do some calculations. So I did some calculations with a small sample size. So this is the thing. Typically we do a sample size, right? It was a small sample size. I just went through, we got a lot, we did a larger sample and um, I had to go through doing the scores. And now with the, I will say this, with that smaller sample, I did notice there was an issue where there were some people who were really, really high performers and the scores were vastly different from the majority. So that was apparent in our, um, that smaller sample that I did yesterday. But when I had a larger sample, I'm like, okay, I have to, ch I had to change my calculations where I had to scale my data by normalizing it, where we scale, we, or normalize the data. We put it so that the scores range between zero and one because you can have someone with a score of six and you can have someone with a score of 600 was the range and that's just too wide for me so I normalized the data with this larger sample size and I mean the like the people that were I guess outliers or issues in the initial are still outliers in, in this updated file is just that the, the scores have been normalized so that the ranges aren't vastly different so I've done that I've spot checked like if I've made an error or issue is because I'm just overlooking at this data so I asked my team to go and take a look let me know if they see any errors or issues because at this point I'm I'm gonna be blind to it you know so y'all look at it and let me know what errors are made and what I need to correct so that is done I need to go in we now have data um, final data for March so I need to go in and pull the finalized results today before I log off in the next hour and so I can um, send out Monday so I can send out reports to everyone with the final March results in addition to like month to date April results so yeah but I've basically just been working on cleaning this data up all day outside of like we have one call well no two calls like our team and then just another call so outside of the calls has just been compiling and cleaning this data looking at it realizing I need to normalize the data then do my calculations and now that's done so now I can move on to pulling final March results and performance and getting that ready like if I have time to I will go ahead and update some of the reports that I will send out on Monday if I can do that like I hope I can so yeah because pulling this data shouldn't take too long I say that and then things happen, you know, like yesterday I said, oh, I said to my manager, it's not going to take us long to do this. Lies. Oh, my God. Like, and again, I think I mentioned this yesterday. This is with like legal compliance data that it, I don't know why we're doing this. Why? Why aren't legal? Like, why aren't those teams doing this? We aren't legal. We aren't compliant. I don't understand. I'm so over it. Okay. Let me get off my soapbox and stop complaining. <sighs> all right, so I'm gonna work on pulling this. Let me start. I'm just waiting for all this stuff to save so I can close it out. And I need to update these tickets and my tracker. And my finance, the guy in finance, he's out today, but he sent me some data on, he sent me some data yesterday and I wasn't able to take a look into it because I was stuck on this freaking project. And I, like I said to my manager, this is someone else's project. I don't know why I'm doing this. Like, um, all right, let me update this project um, with what I did today. Am I doing the most? Maybe. We don't do their, we don't do because I don't, I don't think we have access to their data like that. Anytime that we've in the past have included in any capacity, it was the um, 
what they, I don't know what they're called to, huh? No, but it wasn't like reps. It wasn't reps. It was the, um, what do they call them? They are leaders, but I forgot what they call them. Right, we don't, yeah, this is maybe like the third or fourth time where they've come to us like, oh, do something to, you know, finish the month strong and, the, and then it's never done. Like we do all this work every time and we never go through with doing anything. I have not had the opportunity to go through it. That's one of the things I'm working on this morning. So I, I would caution to say after um, because we're looking at a specific time frame, right? Don't we want to or so so achieve 125 percent in every um no no we're gonna i mean well that's what i'm gonna verify i believe because our data source is going to be thought spot thought spot in the past has allowed us to do it by day so i don't think that's a problem but i'm gonna verify that and i'll put that in a team slack that hey we can do it by day because if not it'll have to be for the whole month but I believe we should be good with doing it by day. And if that's the case, then we will, um, we can look at done between May 15th, May 31st. Those are the ones that will be, where's that at? Okay, good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. It is kind of, it's still morning, but it is a little later in the morning. I've been working on a project and a few acts for the past couple hours. I need to, I've been doing some data cleaning, like, reformatting some data so that I can analyze it and provide some recommendations but like people keep asking me on the side for stuff and I'm just saying no like hey can you update this deck no can you refresh this no I, I just can't do it all like I I, I can't right now like I, I we sent out we just sent out a deck with results through 427 right now I'm getting pinged hey can you refresh it with data through 430? 430 was yesterday. We don't even like our data hasn't even loaded into systems and tools yet for us to go ahead and refresh. Like we only have results through 428. One day or not 428. Is it 429? 429. It's not going to be that big of a difference, you know? So use this 427 data and keep it moving. Like we don't have data through 430. I'm not about to refresh it because I just don't have the time or bandwidth. I will refresh and update it with data through 430 next week as I originally planned to do so. But GitLab won't be available May 3rd from eight. When is May 3rd? Is that a weekend? Okay, it is. So um, yeah, like this stuff can wait. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I, I can't just keep doing ad hoc data refreshes and updating decks and stuff because people want it on different timelines look we update it and refresh it once a week if that doesn't meet your needs I, I i really like you're gonna have to ask someone else because i don't at the time i don't have the time to be doing these ad hoc requests i have so much work to do and one of the things is to analyze this data but before I can analyze it, I have to clean it because the format is so <sighs> like data cleaning. You guys, you spend so much of your time. I'm doing calculations. I'm doing cleaning up data. I need to filter out data. I need to label data. There's just so much, so much stuff. Like everything's combined for this file into like one column of data when it should be separated and then there's columns that are separated that should be combined and then the formatting and making sure they're the right data types and all like it can be a lot to clean data but that's what I'm working on a data cleaning initiative so that I can then analyze the data and provide it to people because people think like this is just a quick easy process and it's not like I started working on it yesterday before I left the office and then first thing this morning on our little like sink so on our little sink call this morning like hey have you and can you not like do you, I, I don't think y'all understand the amount of work that goes into it so to get this done because I'm like up to here at the moment like I'm just I am really really over it right now I really am like I may not be the fastest at doing things but I need y'all to understand like hey so this person is asking me for like like the results like I said you know like we have stuff on dashboards but not everybody has access to the dashboards um for other reasons so what we do is we um or I a part of what I do is I will summarize the results on slides in performance and we send that out once a week and someone else on my team like I still compile okay so this 
y'all like so now here's the problem i'm being pinged like hey you guys sent out a pdf version of this i need the actual slide so i can just take your slide and put it in my deck um why are we and i'm asking like why did we change to because we used to send out the deck why are we sending it out as a pdf you also need to include it as the deck so people can go and take slides that they need Recommend. 